Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont and I am the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today I'm we'll going to be talking about printing from the mobile version of Google Docs. And basically the idea is you're not connected to a wired printer. Uh, you have your phone and you need to print something out and this is how you do it. So first, open up the Google Docs mobile app on your phone. It might be iOS, it could be an Android phone. Uh, this is actually an iPhone and it has a special feature that Android phones don't have, which I shall explain in a second. And then you open the file you want to print. Actually, let's open another file that I want to print. This is a letter. Uh, I was sending a book to the Library of Congress. And so I'm all done with it. I'm ready to print it out. In the upper right corner, there is a button that looks like, or an icon that looks like three dots next to each other. Tap that. I'm tapping it right now. Okay. And you'll see that there are a bunch of different options here. But nothing is available for print. What you need to do is if you don't see the print label, tap share and export. Okay, you'll notice that there's options for sharing a link, sharing it with people, sending a copy someplace, saving it as a dot doc x word document. What you want is the print icon, which is near the bottom. Tap that. Okay. It basically gives two options here. It actually looks like three options, but the top one print, that's just the general header. Google Cloud Print and Air Print. Now, Google Cloud Print, if you tap that, it will prompt you to search for a printer that you can use. And what I've, the, the problem that I found with this service is it's not good, it's not easy to set stuff up or to find printers that you know you've set up in the past. And I have a printer within uh, range. It's in the same Wi-Fi network. It should be showing up and it doesn't show up. And to be honest with you, it's, I've had a lot of trouble with Google Cloud Print and I don't recommend using it unless you absolutely have to. Fortunately, if you have a, a, an Apple printer uh, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, printing is a little bit easier if you've set up your printer to work with AirPrint. And usually it will work right out of the box if, you're, if it's on the same Wi-Fi network. And this is how it works. So tap the icon, upper right corner, three dots. Look for the print icon. If you don't see it, tap share and export, then tap print. <coughs> and tap AirPrint. And this is really good because it recognized right out of the right out of the gate that I have a printer. It's a brother printer. If you can, if you want to change it, it'll give you options to change it. But I've already set that up. And you know, this is by the way, this is a, a, a new iPhone. I didn't I didn't have to set manually set up the printer beforehand. It just worked right out of the box, which is which is really great. So, uh, anyways, you select the printer. Um, they'll give you some options. If you want to increase the number of copies, you can tap the plus button. If you want to decrease, minus, double-sided, that's set up by default on this particular printer. And then you just tap the icon that says print. So I'm tapping that right now. It will start printing very shortly, and then it will be done. To get more tips on how to get the most out of Google Drive and Google Docs, Google Sheets and Google Slides, check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. And thank you for watching.